welcome back to another episode of Country Girls Investigate. So we are continuing our investigation on the Japanese snacks and candy, which you probably saw last week. So this is round two. We have our drinks still. We got the uh, Jack Daniels whiskey and ginger ale, and Audrey's got her rum and coke. Cracking. Cracking. Oh yeah. So we are getting ready to get started on tasting the candies. <laughs> So as a refresher, we are going to try all of these Japanese candies and snacks. And we will tell you what they're called. And then after we taste them, I will give a description on what this uh, snack slash candy is supposed to be. What the company says it's supposed to be. <laughs> what it actually tastes like. That's a whole other story. <laughs> we also got this camera to record my reaction. Then we have this camera to record Audrey's reaction. All right, let's start with the first piece of candy or snack. Let's see which one it is. All right, so we are starting off with the Mochi Taro Cracker. It's got a whole bunch of uh, workers on it. It's really interesting. <laughs> All righty. See, it's got little workers on it. <laughs> it's got a puppy dog on the back. <laughs> All righty. Oh, these look like... um. Animal crackers. They don't look like they look like um. Oh wait, they like um caramel, caramel corn. They look like croutons. They look like caramel corn. Yeah, it's like that's what they look like. All right. They don't really have a taste. It tastes like buttered fried bread. <laughs> Probably what it is. Not bad. Yeah. That's a good little snack. All right. See what the uh, pamphlet says. All right, it's got little workers on it so I can find a worker one. Um, all right. A pack of rice crackers flavored lightly salted crunchy snacks and a peanut. A peanut. Ain't no peanut in that. It says flavor is savory salty. I just savory salty. Yeah, well, I'll give you, I'll give you There ain't no peanut in that. Unless they mean like peanut oil or something. Hey, peanut oil, but there ain't no peanuts in that. Trust. <laughs> nope. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a samurai on the back of the thing too. It's a very interesting looking samurai. <laughs> it's like a yellow polar bear. So our next one is a marshmallow twist. A what? <laughs> Marshmallow twist. Okay. <laughs> Are you drunk enough not to be able to say marshmallow correctly? It says marshmallow. Let me see. It's, a, it's in Japanese. You ain't oh. <laughs> all right. Unless you can read Japanese all of a sudden. No, I cannot read Japanese. Not at all. <sighs> all right. I tried learning Mandarin Chinese and I got confused. It's a marshmallow. You drunk enough not to be able to say marshmallow correctly. No, it's marshmallow. I'll show you in the packet. Went on in the brochure. Ooh. Smells really uh, marshmallow. Oh my god. It's just a marshmallow. Literally with a twist. <laughs> Alright. There's chocolate fingerprints all over this. <laughs> All right, let me find it on here. Here, right here. See, Marshmallow twist. Mm. <laughs> a fluffy marshmallow with a cute twist pattern combining vari various colors. It's marshmallow flavored. Well, I would hope so. It's marshmallow. <laughs> that one wasn't that uh, interesting. Still yummy. We like marshmallow. Yeah, that was good. All right, off to the next one. All right, so the next one is Yadamin noodles. It comes in this little tiny little packet. So they can't possibly be a snack. <laughs> it's a bite. 
All right, so I'm scared of this one because it's got a little guy holding a, uh, looks like a... A hand, piece of dynamite? A piece of di handmade dynamite. Great. See, uh, he's got a little guy holding dynamite. But he's also got a cup of um, noodles, but the noodles are in his mouth and <laughs> All right. I don't know if y'all can see that picture well enough, but from where I'm sitting, I would not eat this based on that picture. Oh, it, it looks like... um. Oh, it's the dry thingies we already had. Yeah, little, little dry thingies. Hopefully they're, they're not spicy. Why is it in a little cup like this, though? Probably because they're spicy. This, and this is lighter. not a snack. I'm a fat person. This ain't no damn snack. Can't get my fingers in this. They're just like noodles. They are spicy. I didn't eat spicy. They got some spice to them. Wait for it. No. You have no feeling and no taste buds. <laughs> She's not actually human. Oh my God. All right, so we're gonna read the brochure thingy and see what it is all about. I mean, I would imagine it would be spicy. Okay. Tiny bowl of crunchy chicken ramen flavored fried noodles. That's a tiny bowl. That's an understatement. <laughs> that's okay. that's that's for an infant. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty you can't good. get your fingers in that bowl. You can't, you have to no. pour it into a bigger bowl. Yeah. So the next thing we are trying is to roll chocolate. On it says milk chocolate. It kind of looks like a biscuit from the packaging, but we'll see. Foil. There's foil on the side. <laughs> I don't know why. <sighs> Look how tiny it is. Look how tiny it sits in my hand. This is how Japanese people say, stay so scrawny. <laughs> this, is, this is their version of a snack or a candy where us, you know, southern people at minimum no, where's where's the food? It's where's the a, candy? Just a piece of chocolate. It's that's that's that's, that's a bite. Just wipe our crumbs off our chocolate chopping board. I'm gross and greasy. Oh, there's a cookie in the middle. Hmm, there's a cookie in the middle. A chocolate covered cookie. I like the fact she tastes more chocolate than cookie. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna read up on that one. It's a chocolate covered cookie. Basically what it was. An adorable little chocolate in one of many original flavors. You could have mochi, coffee, nougat, biscuit, biscuit flavor. Almond, milk, strawberry, jelly, or white chocolate and cookie. Hmm. All right. All right, then. That one's a keeper. Yeah. All right, to the next one. So our next piece of candy is a fruit juice gummy. I think it's apple flavor. There's apple on it. Let's pray it's not sour apple. It's red, so I think it would be like a red apple. That don't mean The true of that. But yeah, see, it's, there's an apple on it. Uh-huh. That don't mean that it ain't sour. Oh, it's like a little... It's a gummy. I'm gonna cut this one in half and get chocolate off the... If I can attempt to cut it. Oh my god. There's no... Nothing, uh... So part. far, we have been lucky and not discovering strange things inside of the candies and snacks. It's a gummy apple thing. That's pretty good. It tastes like a Fuji, for sure. Fuji or Braverin. I know, oh, here's fruit juice gummy. Fruit flavored gummy made with real Japanese fruit juice. Then you can either get apple, Grape, mandarin, or peach. Ooh. As 
good as that was, I would love to try the Mandarin. That one's pretty good. I was, that was a keeper. Yeah, we like that one. Off to the next candy. So our next candy is Confetto. It's got little stars in there, purple and white stars. I bet you it's just like a sugar candy. I bet you it's just pure sugar. <laughs> yeah. All right. My hands smell like chocolate still. <laughs> I kind of like that crystal candy. Remember you get on the stick and it's just crystals? It's just sugar. Yeah, it's just crystal out of sugar. With some color on it. Mm -hmm. Hey, I mean, like, look, when I think of candy, I want like a candy. I don't want just a clump of sugar. <laughs> All right, they are sugar based candy made by repeatedly coating a sugar syrup over a grain of coarse sugar until the grain grows over several days, eventually becoming a tiny bulged ball of sugar. Sugar. You can, you can get dandelion flavor. It says dandelion. Why in the hell would I want dandelion flavor? I think we got hydrania's flavor. Or, cos okay, or okay. Cosmos. Okay, one, one, uh, explain this to me. How in the f does a dandelion and a hydrangea have a flavor? I don't know what it says on here, though. Pretty sure they're not edible flowers. I think dandelions are. They are not. People have like, been soaking in them and stuff lately. Just, you might soak in it, but you ain't gonna eat it. It's a or weed. They make like tea and stuff out too, I think. I don't know. It's a weed. Yeah. Or you can get Cosmos, Fiji, Sac Sakura, or mixed. What are we looking at here? Right there. Sakura. Sakura. Fuji. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a ball of sugar. That's all it is is a ball of sugar. Crystallized sugar with sugar and sugar. It's crystallized sugar on top of sugar, on top of sugar, on top of sugar. Yeah, the sugar, huh? That's probably why they give you like that, because you, so you won't get sugar. That's why they have so much energy over there. All they do is eat pure sugar. Yep. All right, now off to the next one. All right, so our next candy is, I'm going to butcher the the crap out of this name. It's okay, we've been doing it all day. In, in chigo, the, the fuku marshmallow. <laughs> give me that! <laughs> God! <gasps> Oh gosh, you're about to go. Party right. foul. <laughs> I told you. You should go. Dive food. Who? Yeah, I'm gonna stop there because I'm. Besides the fact that I'm butchering that, <laughs> it just sounds wrong. It looks it looks like it's strawberry flavor, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Happy strawberry. <laughs> and she coughs all over it. I coughed on my hand. Doesn't matter. It was in the hand you coughed on. You're killing me, Smalls. It's like a marshmallow. What was this? this in the name of Another marshmallow? I bet I bet you there's gooey, <laughs> gooey stuff. Here's our first gooey. I think it kind of warned you that there was gooey. Oh. It's not really, it's kind of like a paste. Okay. It's kind of like a See, you can see it in the middle. It's kind of like a paste. It smells like strawberry. Well, here we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. And strawberry for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, fine. For sure, for sure. Okay. It is. A bite-sized fluffy marshmallow filled with strawberry cream. So that was cream, not like. That was so not cream. <laughs> that was not cream. It was okay, but it was not cream. Mm -mm. It was like she said, it was more like a paste. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. It was good. Prefer the paste over cream. Mm -hmm. I don't like cutting into things as oozing cream, because that's just not okay. Nope. All right, let's go. The only time cream's okay is in donuts. No, it's not. <laughs> in donuts. 
No, it's not. All right, so our next two are Amichan candies. There's two of them. So I think one has an orange on it, and then I don't know what the other one's purple. My associate purple grape, so I'm not 100% sure. But we'll see. As I got hiccups. Why are you looking? <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> Give me a purple one. Oh. Okay. It's like a hard candy. It's like an orange hard candy. Okay. Let me try it out. It's such an orange flavored hard candy. It really is almost the same. Mine's a pink ball. It's pink ball <laughs> and purple wrapping. How deceiving is that? <laughs> Grape. I didn't have any gooey mess in the middle. It was just a hard piece of candy. Hmm? I didn't have anything gooey in mine. It was just a hard piece of candy. If I have anything gooey in mine, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> Alright. While she's eating hers, I'm gonna look this up. Two Japanese style hard candies in one of many various types, shapes, sizes, and themes. The flavors are sweet. Various fruits and fizzy soda flavors. Mine was orange. Mine's so great. <laughs> All right. I'm going to next one. Oh, whiskey and that orange do not go mixed together. Yeah. All right, so our next candy is a poopy... Right, that, that R word again, R-A-M-U-N-E. It's got little uh, animals on it. It's got a bunny and a squirrel. Yeah, there you go. Even though the, the thing, the brochure has an I instead of a Y. Maybe it's spelt with an I in American and a Y in over there. <laughs> an American. Oof. Yeah, it's got like little animals, animals on it. Hey, those, these look like Smarties. Yeah, these do look more like Smarties. Oh crap, got one. Got it. And they're pink and orange and white. Is it just sugar? Yep. Their version of Smarties. Yeah. Ew. It tastes like chocolate. Sugar. More like chalk than Smarties do, yeah. <laughs> it tastes like chalk, sugar chalk. Sugar chalk. Pretty much. All right, let's see what these are. Technically. Ugh. It's a chalky Smartie. <laughs> a sweet and sour melt your mouth candy with an assortment of orange, strawberry, and lemon flavors around since 1963. Is their version of a Smartie? <laughs> yeah. And Smarties have been around long. As you drink. All right, next one. <laughs> Our next one is Ninjin Rice Puffs. They come in this cute little bag with some pandas on it. You know, like a, like Easter, they sell these things. You know, they sell these with like Easter in them sometimes. Make it look like a carrot or something. Oh, that's very secure. I can just rip into it. This is gonna go all over the place. Oh, they're like airy and light. Look at them. I want you to dip you some out. I like um, that, that cereal. Um, Corn no, puffs. Yeah. Yeah, that corn puff cereal. That's what it reminds me of. Corn puffs are better. Yeah, they're like the, the corn puff cereal. Corn puffs are better. All right, I'm gonna read it. That is not a keeper. I mean, I'll eat it. You eat just about anything. Yeah, true. 
All right, a centuries old uh, treat in Japan. This... It tastes like it's a centuries old. Yeah. <laughs> this time, this carrot. <laughs> This carrot-shaped bag of rice puffs are light, crispy, and slightly sweetened. They're not crispy. They're sweet rice puffs. They're, they're sweet. Old. They're old. They're centuries old. They taste a century old. <laughs> Ain't no crisp left. <laughs> I thought they were good. You eat anything. True. You have no taste buds. True that. Apparently I don't because all these candies, I'm lighter than nothing to this. <laughs> Our next candy is a Machitio Kinico. Machitio Kinico, whatever. I don't think you're trying to say machete. <laughs> Badly. I'm right. gonna need it. I'm gonna need a refill after this one. <laughs> but this one, uh, it comes in two. There's two of them in here. <laughs> oh, it comes with a uh, a bag of um. What is this? It says do not migrate. It's probably the, the, what you call it? Um. Oh my God. It takes the water out of it. Um. Whatever it is. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> we're just, we're just gonna move on. All right. I think, I've had these before at the, the conveyor belt Japanese restaurant. The f is this? <laughs> it's a little squishy ball. All right. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> there's, there's stuff in the middle of this one. <laughs> I like it. It's pretty good, though. It's lemon flavor. Try it. I like it. It's really thick and like gooey. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I like it. It was pretty good. All right, I'll read to you what is what it is. This is not okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gross. I liked it. Is on the back? Oh. Nope. It tastes like dead eggs. <laughs> oh, I just had to leave on that one. Oh no. <laughs> All right, while she's gone, I'll tell you what it is, if I can find it on here. A pack of two bite-sized manchis, a traditional Japanese sweets made with sticky uh, machi rice filled with cream and sprinkled with powder. It's sticky, all right. Roasted soy flour. Flavor is cake rice and nutty. No wonder it tastes like <laughs> <laughs> All right, off to the next candy. All right, so our next candy or snack, I think it's a snack, is a mini unigiri. Unigiri. O-N-I-G. Huh? Onigiri. Onigiri. Susie had to help me with that one. <laughs> you have had sushi before, right? Yeah. This isn't sushi. It looks like little rice puff thingies. I know. Let me see. I don't eat that kind of sushi. You don't eat any? any? No. I just have sushi. I don't eat the uh, other stuff because last time I had it, it tasted like pure fish and I did not like it. It is pure fish. It's oh fish God. on a f***ing thing of rice. They look like little bite-sized piece things. I thought those were faces, but it's just the spices on it. They're pretty good. They're kind of like Chex Mix. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like this one. All right, I'll do it. I like them. A pack of tiny rice balls shaped 
rice crackers covered in real seaweed bites. No wonder it tastes like <laughs> I like it. You'll probably tear my stomach up later. Yep. <laughs> because there's seaweed in it. Don't come, don't come crying to me. That's what happened to Jen. She ate sushi with seaweed and it tore her stomach up. You know, make sure she doesn't eat anything that's got that in it. True that. All right, next one. All right, so this candy is a shimi choco corn stick. A little star on it. All right, this one's a big and in a big package. All I can think of right now is Caddyshack. <laughs> it's probably just gonna be a chocolate rice thingy or corn puff. Yep. This is pretty good. No, no, that's a keeper. A cute star shaped corn snack soaked with calcium rich chocolate by Gimbus Original Impregnation Method. Really? <laughs> That's what it says. Let me do that. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what it says. It's right there, Impregnation Method. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. That's what it says. I don't know what kind of method that is, according to them, but. You don't use words like that when you're making food to sell to the public. That's what it says. I, you saw it. That's wrong. <laughs> For right. so many reasons. Next one. All right, the next one is a chocolate taro bar. Looks like that's a peanut. There might be peanuts in it. You will enjoy its taste. That's the only English words that are on there. Okay, now that makes me nervous. Who? <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, the picture kind of looks like it would have peanuts in it. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a full blown chocolate. Crunch. Oh, it's got crisp in the center. Crisp in the center. He apparently like the airy fluff. It was all right. Again, chocolate covered Cheeto. <laughs> there are so many chocolate fingerprints. <laughs> uh huh. Um. Uh, a crispy puff corn dough bar filled with peanuts and covered in delicious light milk chocolate. There were no peanuts in that. There were no peanuts in that. It might be finely crunched or crushed I up had, in there. There were no peanuts in that. I don't know what they think peanuts are. There wasn't are. even any flavor of peanut in that. It nope. was chocolate covered puff. It was good, but their description of said item is inaccurate. All right, we're off to the final one. This final one, I need to go get a glass for. What? <laughs> this one, this one calls for a glass. Help me. This is our final one we are testing for this episode. It is called War War Gooky Beer. It is a beer candy. So I'm gonna get a cup for it. You can see their directions on the back. All righty. Got our water. All right, so I'll, well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what this one is because I got read directions on the back. It is a non-alcoholic powdered drink um, derived from fruit juice, caramel colored and malt extract. The, um, the word, uh, war, 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 it means naughty kid. Naughty kid beer. Wargaki? Mm-hmm. Wargaki. So Wargaki. English, it means naughty kid beer. Wargaki. So the instructions say, empty the contents of the pack into a cup or glass. 
thing. See, it's all powdery. It's tang. <laughs> oh God. Then it says add 120 milliliters of cold water or soda water and stir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them water. I don't have anything. I'm gonna stir it with my knife because I didn't bring a spoon. That's you not better stir the f out of that. It says it's supposed to foam. It says, watch it. It looks like <laughs> cheese. <laughs> what the is that? It says, watch it. Oh, oh. Stop drinking. It's getting drink. head. It's getting head. <laughs> it looks like it, like a beer, like it, how a beer would act. It's actually starting to look like a <laughs> poor version of a beer. <laughs> All right. It's pretty good. This from the lightweight. There's no alcohol in it, it's not alcoholic. She basically drinks non-alcoholic beer anyway. <laughs> I don't drink beer, period. I drink whiskey. What'd she say? What'd she say? Exactly. <laughs> it tastes like flat ginger ale. <laughs> it kinda does. It's very disappointing. Yeah. Very. You know it would taste like ginger ale if, back, if you used it says uh, use soda it soda water. Yeah. yeah. All right. It could be a possibility. That could be. That could be something. Got a beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a naughty kids beer. Is what it said. Yeah, oh my, my naughty kids beer was actually <laughs> alcohol beer. I'm just saying. Oh my god. Hey, we redneck. We drink what. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for this episode of Country Girls Investigate. So, I think that was about 16 pieces of candy and snacks we tried this round. Is that all? And there's some more. <laughs> all right, so we are going to refill our drinks, and we are going to film the next episode, even though the next episode is going to drop next week. Like the I said... week after next week this is the second one so it's going to drop what she said anyway <laughs> all right guys so if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are we greatly appreciate it if you're not hit that subscribe button it will help our channel grow we're also on facebook tiktok and instagram and in the description below there is a link to our merch shop where you can get some cool wall adventures merch like the shirt that audrey has or you can get the new merch for the country girls investigate like the one i got on so thanks for watching. See you soon. All right, let's go for the next ones. Yeah, you get the next ones. I'm gonna get the cigarette. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe you actually let me. Ugh, I can't even touch that again. <laughs> that was nasty. <laughs>